Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today we've got the Redmi Note 4 with us. In this video, let's unbox it and take a quick look. I've imported this from China and I'll leave a link to the store in the description below. Opening up the box, we have the Redmi Note 4 itself. Feels kind of familiar. Let's peel the plastic off. Doesn't feel like a huge departure from the Redmi Note 3, but definitely feels refined. My initial impressions at least. We then have the regular leaflets along with the SIM ejector tool. There's a plug, this was probably included by the third party seller, hence my box being kinda deformed. We then have the travel adapter and a micro USB cable, yeah, the Note 4 still uses micro USB. So let's get back to the Redmi Note 4 and take a closer look at the built-in placements. Like I mentioned earlier, it looks familiar especially from the back. Here's the Note 4 side by side with the Redmi Note 3. There are antenna lines now, meaning more metal is being used. The speaker has now been moved to the bottom. While the button placements remain the same, the chamfered metal to the sides are a welcome addition. And so is the 2.5D glass covering the display. With the Redmi Note 4, Xiaomi's managed to up the build quality and feel without really departing from their regular design language. You still get your IR plaster, the capacitive keys remain backlit, and there's a dual SIM hybrid slot. The display here is an IPS LCD panel and retains the 1080p resolution as its predecessors. Xiaomi states that this is a better display than the one used on the Redmi Note 3. I'll have more to say about that in the full review. For now, initial impressions, it looks good, especially for a phone in this price segment. Underneath the hood, the Redmi Note 4 is powered by a Deca core. Yeah, you heard me right, that's 10 cores split into 3 clusters, the Helio X20 chip. So, we have two sets of four uh, Cortex A53 cores and a couple of high powered A72 cores. Mali T880 MP4 handles GPU duties, and we've got 16 and 64 gig storage variants with 2 and 3 gigs of RAM, respectively. All this is backed up by a massive 4100 mAh battery. Out of the box, the Redmi Note 4 runs on Android 6 Marshmallow with MIUI 7 on top, but I quickly updated it to MIUI 8. And since this phone's imported from China, I had to sideload Google Play services onto it. If you want to do that, if you've imported a phone, a Xiaomi phone from China, here's a card, check it out. And the card pops up here, here, very worth. Check it out, and I'll, as in, I've left a link to the tutorial there. MIUI 8 on the Redmi Note 4 seems fast and responsive. You've got your regular MIUI functions, including dual apps, app lock, second space, and more. Once again, I have a dedicated video on what's new with MIUI 8, and here's a card to that. Check that out for more information on MIUI 8, because Xiaomi generally tends to have a uniform experience across devices from a software perspective at least. The fingerprint scanner appears as responsive as always. This is an active scanner and can wake the Redmi Note 4 from sleep. With the camera, Xiaomi is compact to 13 megapixels here. The shutter response seemed quick. There's support for face deduction out of focus, just like with the last generation camera. The apertures f2.0, the sample images that I shot around the office seemed about okay. What do you think? Here are a few more samples. The front shooter is 5 megapixels, and also note that the video is capped at 1080p, no 4K here. So, with that, let's talk price. The Redmi Note 4 is priced at $899 and $1199 yuan respectively, that's $135 or around 9000 rupees for the 16 gig variant and $180 or 12000 rupees for the 64 gig variant. Those are some competitive prices. In fact, they are kind of cheaper than the Redmi Note, what the Redmi Note 3 is selling for in India right now. But given that this phone sports a MediaTek chip inside, the odds of it coming to India, at least in, with the same internals, seem slim. Maybe Xiaomi swaps the Helio X20 chip inside with the Snapdragon chip and brings it to India just like they did with the Redmi Note 3. That's just speculation from my end anyway. So guys, that's it for this quick little unboxing of the Redmi Note 4. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up if you didn't vote it down and for more videos like this, including the full review of this phone, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So that's it for now, thanks a lot for watching, till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, signing off, you guys have a great day, bye bye now.